put this work in. Let's go put let's go put this work in. Is that too much energy? Okay. Let's go put this work in. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Asia G. This channel is a hodgepodge of topics focused on fitness, beauty, lifestyle. I wanted to show a week of workouts. I do some form of exercise or body movement daily. This video shows my exercise Monday through Friday. This particular day, I attempted some new things. I'm a newbie in the gym. And sometimes I feel a bit nervous, but I just keep my eyes on what I'm doing. I attempted to barbell roll with this 45 pound bar and two 10 pound weights. It clearly was too much. I just unloaded those weights, readjusted myself, and did the exercise that I could. I know it's hard to find a time to set aside for health and fitness, but try to start where you are. I've been enjoying working my legs in the gym. Hip thrusts, squats, elevated squats, deadlifts, really just kind of imitating things that I've seen other places. Visually seeing someone else thrive at doing things that I wanted to do gave me a roadmap of how I could intentionally create that lifestyle for myself. What keeps me consistent is having a variety of workout types, ranging from Pilates to yoga, workout videos, running, HIIT training, and just creating my own workouts. In November, I added the gym in so I could lift heavier weights. Some changes, such as building healthier habits, come in small changes. And hopefully you will see that over time. But first, you just have to be consistent. Having different levels of different types of workouts gives you more options on staying consistent. If I don't want to leave home or do strenuous exercises, I do Pilates. If I'm focused on steps for the day, I do running or the treadmill just include a different level of intensities of workouts so that I have a go-to when I feel myself saying, no, not today, I just pick one of the easier exercises. Pilates, while it is hard and it does help you break a sweat, it is more of a relaxed exercise, at least for me and the ones that I pick to do. I do these on my low impact days. Days where I'm not getting up to go to the gym. And doing Pilates just helped me work a different set of muscle groups. The smaller muscle groups, I get to be in tune with myself. And most of all, I get to stay at home. I get to be in my own comfort zone, in my own comfort space, doing my own moves. If I fall over, if I need to stop in the middle to go put the clothes in the dryer, if I need to stop to answer the phone, if I need to stop to do anything, I can always pause my video and come right back to it. This helps with all of those small movements. It helps me get in my core exercises. and It just helps me overall be more in tune with my body and the way that it moves. And it gives me a rest. One thing I like to do is write out my own workout exercises. Sometimes I don't want a fitness instructor in my ear telling me what to do. And sometimes I want to watch something else while I'm doing my workout. And I found that if I wrote them down, kind of structured them after videos that I've watched in the past, three rounds, four exercises, or something like that, I can put on a movie while I exercise. I can listen to my own music while I exercise. And I kind of know what I'm expecting. I can set the pace of my own exercise. And I like that on some days. To feel like I'm in control of my own workout and nobody's making me do something. These are exercises that I made up. These are exercises that I feel like I want to do. And these are exercises that I enjoy. One way to be consistent is home workout. 10 to 15 minutes. So find YouTube channels that have short workouts. Some of the ones that I started with was 
bad fit. She did a lot of functional exercises, 10, 12, 15 minute videos, move with Nicole, which was Pilates. She had 20 minute videos. Pop Sugar had 15 to 20 minute videos, 30 minute videos, and just a variety overall. These videos could be fit right in your morning or right before bed. It doesn't matter the exercise you choose at this point. Your main goal is to be consistent with just finding that daily movement for 10 to 15 minutes. Motivation gets you started, but consistency keeps you going. Doing home workouts just gets you started. And by get you started, that could be ending at the time. I've been starting on home workouts since 2018. And I just now got another gym membership after years of not having one just in November of 2021. So whatever your length of starting is, however many times you have to stop and start doing whatever exercise that you find enjoyable, that's what you do. Being able to watch myself back on camera helps me build my form. It helps me see what I want to do. And watching those fitness accounts and those vlogs help me add in new workouts. It lets me know that the goals that I'm setting for myself are obtainable. And even when I leave the gym and the next day I'm really sore, I know it's because I put in work. I know it's because I'm a newbie. And I know that one day, this will be easier and easier. Most of all, I just want to come on and just share my weekly workouts. Show you what I do. Show you that you can have a variety. That there's no particular way that you have to show up. In the beginning, all you have to do is start. All you have to do is focus on your goals and things that you want to do. And you just get out there and you try. First comes the thought. Then comes the motivation. Then comes the intention. Then comes the action. Then comes the consistency. And then comes the discipline. It's no telling how long you'll stay in each of those stages. But first you have to start. And you can start just like me, out here trying, recalculating what I'm doing, trying again. Just keep showing up. I saw this quote on Instagram. First it's an intention, then it's a behavior, then it's a habit, then it's a practice, then it's second nature, then it's simply who you are. Brandon Bouchard. 